Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. As we have started design and analyzing cantilever or stop footing. So this is our part two, and also have completed uh, more than twenty five video. So if you new here, you can watch our previous video. So let's start for our next procedure. And before starting, I am just requesting you that if you're a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. So that you get every bit ever first. Now, in our previous video, I have defined materials, subgrade, beam properties, then soil and mm, subgrade properties. So, uh, <laughs> actually, uh, we have uh, done that properties. Now we'll go for here load pattern. So this is uh, dead load and live load. Okay, and again we'll go for load combination. So here I'll just select at default load combo so i'll select uh, two load combo actually this is a strength ultimate and service normal okay then okay so here's the four load combo also you can add properties from here by clicking add new combo so i have uh, shown you that in our previous lecture that's why i'm not going to show that so okay now here I'll go for our grid system. Now I'll mm, create our grid system. Okay. Now I just want to show something that actually how we'll draw our grid system and why. Suppose here is your foundation center, and also here is another foundation center. Okay. Here is one foundation center, and here is another foundation center. Now we have to draw a grid system from that point to that point okay just we need the grid system like that point to that point okay so i'll just close that here so i'll go ahead edit then grid data then analysis or modify grid system the global then click on modify so from here i'll give a spacing okay. so here grid in x direction i'll give x now what is what will the x spacing between sorry this is a and this is b so what will be the x spacing of d a different uh, distance between a to b so if we consider that our foundation i mean one column to another column suppose this is our column a and this is column b so what will be the distance between a column and b column that will be our grid distance so our uh, the column a or column A that will be suppose it's uh, 3 meter okay 3 meter distance from one column to another column and here just we can uh, provide a random value okay that's uh, they have no problem actually okay so just I'll give it I'll also give it 3 that's not fair actually because we are uh, drawing our column in that direction okay so uh, it's okay now I'll click here okay then again okay so here it's showing us our grid system okay here our grid system but I'll just uh, remove that background horizon for that I'll click here and from here I'll click uh, uncheck horizon then okay is done now First of all, I'll draw two foundation here actually. Okay, I'll draw two foundation here. So by clicking that option, quick draw area around points. So here. So from here we have to select rectangular slab, and from here the uh, column is stiff. Okay, or column is stiff we have to select our foundation and from here what will be actually our foundation size I'll consider that it's uh, one point okay consider it's two feet by two feet okay it's two feet by two feet or it's one point seven five here in Y it's two okay consider that like that 
our foundation says we'll first of all consider that and in future we'll change that it's required so I'll just simply click here so here is our foundation and here also I will give a foundation and I will consider that that foundation size will be 1 meter by 1 meter okay so I'll just simply click here so here is a one foundation and here is another foundation so this is a two foundation right now I'll just draw or stiff so from here simply select column stiff and give the stiff size actually column stiff means the size of column what will be the size of column I'll just consider for that side I'll consider our column will be 3 zero, sorry point 3 I'll just delete that 0 0.3 I'll consider the 0 0.3 and for that side it's also 0 0.3 I mean 300 millimeter it's done now I'll just simply click here so here is our column also now for that foundation okay for that foundation I'll just give 0 0.2 and here 0 0.2 it's done it's done actually so here so just see here here is our one column and here is our another column now it's done actually so I'll just close that so we have successfully draw our columns with foundation plan now I'll draw a beam from that point to that point to connect that to foundation so for that simply click here draw beam lines okay select here and from here select the beam properties from here you have to select beam then beam properties and it should be a straight line so they have many option just will select a straight line okay and from here from that point to that point will simply draw a beam and after that we'll press escape so it's done actually so we have uh, draw a beam also here okay so we have our uh, radiator foundation now I'll go for I'll just select that foundation and also that foundation I'll select that both both two foundation and I'll go here assign then support data okay then soil properties then I'll select I'll select that BC bearing capacity then I'll select okay so just see here we have draw soil properties in both column and uh, both foundation okay now we'll now we'll uh, define load on our that foundation so to define load on foundation we just need some point here suppose uh, here uh, if I select there if I select here we need to apply load here actually okay so we need to apply load here I'll just okay we have select just see here we have selected now I'll go here assign then load data then point load so after that here I'll give here for first of all dead load suppose this is oh, 70 kilonewton 70 kilonewton then a moment it's 34 and MI it's 25 actually I am just considering that data as I'm just assuming that that assuming that data because of uh, you'll get the data from a, a structural engineer after design a building okay and here this is the most important thing this is site for load for punching shear okay sorry size for load for punching shear so here I'll just give the data for the x direction and for y direction so here I'll give data I mean actually this is nothing but our uh, column size this column size okay so what is that column size this is 
3 0 0 mm also this 3 0 0 mm right so I'll just this okay again I'll select that and again I'll go here assign then load data then point load from here live load and suppose I'll consider this is 100 100 kilo Newton and uh, this is 35 and this is 30 okay I'm just considering that and our the f column size it's punching share uh, size it's okay as per our column size so okay now I'll just click here for that uh, foundation so I'll just click assign then load data then point load and from here live load I'll just change the data first that was 200 millimeter 200 millimeter and uh, our that value for Z I'll just consider that that is 75 okay and I'll just consider that that is 50 actually and our moment is 20 and it's 15 I'll just I'm just considering that this is live so click OK now again select here again go and uh, assign then load data then point load so after that I'll go dead load from here I'll consider that this is 45 and this is 22 and this is 23 okay and it's okay also so I'll just press simply okay so here we have successfully defined our materials properties we have successfully defined our load on it so in our next video if I go in 3d mode so in our next video I will just show that how will design and analysis that okay and after that we'll go for different types of check that our foundation is okay or not for that load and for that soil type so thank you thank you very much if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and uh, also if you're a civil engineer then like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment because your own like and on share inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much as well as to connect till next video